up you guys day two two days <laughs> hope everyone's doing well wanted to pipe in again just because it's the, it's the second of january hope you guys can hear me and guess what it's time to commit you know i'm sorry to say people make so many excuses to not just get started and the reminder here is that motivation comes from action so once you start moving whether it's you know taking action on your pain in your joints or taking action on your energy because it's low and once you start doing that stuff or taking action on swimming biking and running because you signed up for ultimate tri camp and it's in three months or you signed up for Gulf Coast 70.3 and that's in four months, you know, you gotta start to get moving. You have to start being consistent. And I talked about yesterday having balance, but that's an everyday thing, not just on the holidays. The holidays, I do recommend taking time off, like I said, but I was still active. I'm not one of those people that can stay in bed for more than maybe one day, (laughs) being a total, you know, loaf, Um, just because I love the way it feels. And when I move, right? So I have been moving for 24 years. Actually, before that I was moving, I used to be almost a professional equestrian. That's what I wanted to do with my life. And I also used to play volleyball as a kid. So I've been moving for a long time. And when I don't move, it doesn't feel good, right? So I love to move. So yeah, I did some different stuff over the holidays, but now it's time for me to commit, especially because I committed to being on this team. And I don't want to let my teammates down. And I know triathlon is a single sport, but if you have the desire and the dream to do that Ironman, that half Ironman, or even that very first triathlon and cross the finish line, it's time to commit. And it's not just saying, okay, I'm ready to do it, but take action in putting the workout time in your schedule, right? So I'm laying out my weeks, the days of my weeks to make sure, obviously I have to work, right? I have to take care of my clients and my athletes, but I'm making sure that I have time for me and my training too, and also for my working in time. So I'm gonna be focused on having that balance. That's my word of the year, right? But you still have to make the commitment to yourself and your why has to be bigger than the desire to not do it. <laughs> so I have a pretty big why. So I'm, I'm, I'm committed to this team. I'm committed to crossing the country on my bike despite the fears that I have, right? And every bike ride, I feel more confident that I can do it. Um, but it's gonna be a challenge, but I'm not letting those fears stop, right? So taking action creates. What's up, Keith? I'll be up there um, January 14th and 15th for, with my team for Ram, so we'll reach out and maybe you can come for a ride with us. Um, but yeah, so I'm committed. I'm planning out those rides in Claremont to get some hill training. I'm planning out the, obviously, ultimate tri camp in March, although I work more on that one than I do actually train for myself. But um, we have these dates on the calendar and I have these commitments every single day to ride my bike. I'm setting my, my trainer up, my Wahoo up, I'm putting my road bike on it, and I'll be riding my new BMC outdoors, right? So I'm setting myself up for success because just thinking about it is not enough. It is time to take action and action creates motivation and you might actually even get more ideas and more creative from the action you're taking. Some of my best ideas come out while I'm on the bike, in the water and running, right? So, you know, I love to do triathlon. I'm definitely still doing some triathlons this year, but they're not my focus. So I'll do most of those for fun. Um, But I'm here to support you guys too. And coaching is an essential part of that. I have coaches, right? I'm actually considering hiring another coach specific to RAM um, and someone who knows about the importance of balance and is not going to drive my body into the ground, right? I mean, I know a lot. I've been doing this for 24 years and I've had a lot of people have a lot of success in Ironman, in half Ironman, but this is something new for me. So I do need to get educated despite all the research I'm doing. I do need that extra help and coaching is an investment that I'm willing to make to be successful, right? So what's up, Jenny Lee? Jenny Lee is a great example of being committed and um, taking the time to work with a coach to achieve her goal, right? And she's not done. She's already signed up for another triathlon, right? So congratulations again, Jenny Lee. You can see about her story. We did a live um, a couple weeks ago. (laughs) So coaching is a necessity of life because we're not all experts in every single thing, right? So for me, 
I just wanted to, I was on my bike and I got this idea about, you know, I made the commitment yesterday to ride my bike every day. And guess what? I don't feel great today. I'm not 100% um, energized. I have a lot of emotional stuff happening in my family. You know, my mom is very ill, but you know what? I made the commitment, so I'm on my bike, right? So that's my why. And I'm learning to have the bounce, to have time with her, to have time with my daughter, to f fuel myself, get the sleep I need to work in so that I can show up and do the work I need to do on my bike because I committed to it. All right, you guys, I hope you have an amazing second day of January. And this is not to say, um, you know, this is not criticism that you're not motivated yet or you're not moving yet, but just it's time. January is a great time to start if you haven't been, right? <laughs> so I hope you have an awesome day. Enjoy this beautiful weather. I heard there's a chance that we're going to be getting some cold fronts. Um, but I love it like this. I'm, I don't really like cold weather. So, But I guess I need some training in the cold, right? So it's good for me to get some training in the cold. All right, you guys. Wishing you well. Have an awesome day. Bye.